All right, what is up, guys? What is up? What is up? What is up? Um, wow, it sounds echoey in here. Mm, let me open the door. All right, I didn't like that echo at all. What's going on, everybody? Thank you for joining me. I guess I can turn off the will start shortly. It has begun. Uh, let's turn this off. No, not that. Let's turn that off. All right, cool. What's going on, everybody? My name is Mike Thompson. I am an illustrator and a sculptor. Um, I've done stuff for like Coke and Nike, and I have lint balls stuck to my... I just washed this. This is not a good look. All right, don't pay attention to the lint balls that are stuck to my hoodie. I like this hoodie. I don't like the lint balls. But anyway, yeah, um, I've done stuff for people. I do like toy packaging and movie posters and all that good stuff. So what's going on? Um, uh, the name of this stream is Illustration by Way of Sculpture. Um, I started using uh, ZBrush to help with my illustration. I started as a 2D artist. And uh, what you're seeing on the screen here is one of my pieces um, that, uh, that I did, that I'd done of... Uh, Call it the last turtle. He's the last one, so don't get angry, YouTube. He's got all the weapons because all his brothers, spoiler alert, are dead. Anyway, um, it's my story. That's what I did. Hardcore like that. What's going on, um, everybody on the chat? Let's move this chat over and let's get to why you really came. You didn't come to see... Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, you guys didn't come to see... Golly, the glare in here, man. Where's the thing? All right, you guys didn't come to see Photoshop stuff and 2D. You came to see ZBrush stuff, right? That's why you're here. Oh my God, the glare in here is so bad, I can't even see how to minimize this screen. What the heck, man? Okay, hold on one second, sorry. Frame, there it is. Okay, Audi. All right, so this is what I'm working on now. Uh, Bobby. Um, yeah, this is what I'm working on now. So I doing a little Rick and Morty. Uh, if you guys were here last time, I started, uh, I started this a long time ago, put it down, got distracted, and didn't come back to it. But I'm a big, I'm a big Rick and Morty fan. I don't know if you know that about me, spoiler alert. Um, and so um, I, uh, I thought it would be cool to do this piece, which I'm going to actually do a 3D print of and uh, I'm gonna put it on my on my uh, wall. I'm gonna hang it on the wall, so the portal will be coming out of the wall. How crazy is that, you guys? All right, let me fix this. I want to size everything. Bear with me. Bear with me. All right, cool. All right, I'm gonna size this thing down. Uh, let's show you what it looks like with color. Um, Okay, so that's what it looks like with color right now, right? Um, last time I was here, I went and uh, changed Morty's head. Before I had him looking kind of human, like not human, I had him looking kind of regular kid, and I didn't like the proportions at all. So I went in and kind of redid his head. I have to give him eyeballs. Uh, I also went in and played around. What is up? Baja, California, what's going on? Um, also, I, uh, Russia, wow, man, I'm killing it. I'm all, I'm global, you guys. What's up? What's up, side effects? Howdy. Um, what's I talking about? Side effects, you distracted me, man. Much like distract. Um, I know, I'll be here all, all night. T tip your waitresses. Uh, this is why I sculpt and don't tell jokes. Um, yeah, I also went in and messed with the tentacle, right? I wanted it to feel more like gross, which is like a Rick and Morty thing. So if I turn off the uh, Rick and I turn off, you know this guy. I'm not going to say his name. You know his name. I'm turning him off. All right. I'm going to minimize Morty and let's turn off the uh, portal. All right. So now what you can see is uh, I have been hard at work on this tentacle, right? If I turn off Morty, 
you can see I went in and added like these little this is a thing that Rick and Morty does they put like gross little I don't know what this is but I put it on the inside there and I thought it looked kind of cool and textured it a little bit using some of the 2020 features uh, which I'll go over today and I also made a nice little custom little turnaround icon my boot I did a boot that's my new little custom joint right um, that's it so good night everybody I'll see you next week all right uh, I was talking about proportions talking about oh thank you thank you yeah exactly all right so um so anyway yeah you can see that I did a little bit of detailing to Morty's arm now one thing that I did realize with this right is if you guys are fans of the show I want to have a lot of deep cuts I'm gonna add probably Pin Sylvester uh, in this hand up here um, I did make a Graflamite which is uh, it's these dudes right here these guys right I made one of those I'm gonna probably have him somewhere in the piece too I'm gonna go bonkers with this I just want to keep adding pieces until it's ridiculous um, so uh, for now there they are right there right uh, so for now, I went in and I found some reference uh, for Morty's hair. I wanted to do like a Dumb and Dumber kind of bowl cut, which I, if I turn off the color, it might be a little easier to see it. Let's turn the color off. Also, let me know if the music is too loud again, please, because I want you to be able to hear me um, and some of the music, right? So yeah, if we zoom in here, you can see I started messing around with his bowl cut, right? Just having a little fun, you guys. Um, I also did... Um, so for the tentacle, I forgot how much I enjoyed using Sculptures Pro. So I just started... Like, I deleted my lower subdivision levels, and I just started going kind of bonkers with putting texture on, on this thing. And I don't know if I'm going to have these little nubbins all over the place, but I do like having them in places where they're touching Morty. Um, that's kind of... That's kind of cool, and especially when I print it, it's going to be kind of cool. All right, so that's what I got so far. All right, let's see. Tunisia, what's up? What's up, Tom? Can you show the, show the Morty faces? Yeah, absolutely. I can do that. Wait, Morty faces. Um, what, like, you're talking about, like, this page? Boom, in the book they have everything this is season one and two so I'm hoping they come out with one for uh, three and four um, also it's great it has like all the creatures and stuff so you can see how they have like everything is a little bit kind of phallic in here too so there's that and uh, Morty is, uh, what the hell is Morty? There's Pencil Bester. Boom, I'm gonna put him in. He's going in. I'll do him today, actually. All right, so look, I don't wanna waste any time. I'll find it later, uh, the Morty faces, but in the meantime, let's, let's do the thing. Cause I think last time I, I messed around and I wasted a lot of time. Thank you, Cheyenne. Is that my niece? I don't know, maybe. She could be in here. All right, um, let's see. All right, so let's gear up, everybody. Protection, that's what it's all about, right? Let's get the, get the gear going. All right, let's do this. Oops, wrong finger. I keep forgetting, so I've gotta, I've gotta move the, the, the ring because it scrapes on my Cintiq. So it goes on the thumb. All right, so um, one thing that I've been doing with this tentacle, and it's just about done, but I um, it'd be cool to add some color on here, actually. But uh, one thing, oh, I also went and found like the kid from The Shining. Thought he was good reference, and of course Macaulay Culkin, and then my Rick reference. You know, it's gotta be, it's gotta be, um, you know, Doc, uh, the Doc from. Um, Back to the Future, um, because that's what it was based on. 
anybody who's too young to know what Back to the Future is. Do yourself a favor, go and watch Back to the Future. All right, so, oh, I know what I was gonna say to you guys. So one thing I was thinking about with this is there's angles that this looks good and then there's angles where it's not so good. So if I move the reference out of the way, right? Um, ba, 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 let's move. What's up, Neil? Neil? N uh, Neil or Nell? I don't know how you spell Nell. Neil. What's up, Neil? All right. Um, yeah, if you move the reference out of the way. All right, so look. So from the front, right? Pretty dope. Underneath, I like it. Side, this side, pretty cool. Um, one thing I'm liking, though, about the new um, thumbnail view in ZBrush 2020 is that it allows me to get a good idea of the silhouette. And one thing I'm not feeling is it looks like, if you get this thing at the right angle on the side, it almost feels like this tentacle is flowing up through the arm and the leg, and it has like some weird, like there's some tangents I don't like on this. Also, if you turn it around from this side, I don't like this side at all, right? Basically what I'm telling you is his arm is in a weird place, right? The big, the big diesel Morty arm. So what I wanna do is hey commit what's up man um what uh what i want to do is i want to move that arm right so what i did to this when you guys weren't looking is i stripped the arm off of the body and i just like closed the hole and then i went in with sculptress and i kind of softened it a little bit right so this arm is on its own thing so i can retopo it it's going to be hidden in the sleeve you're not going to see it it's all good right and then i have the body over here same deal Okay, so, and you can see the body is super, super early. This is like basically a, a base mesh, which all I did was mess with the face a little bit. So if I turn on everything again, um, I think what I wanna do is I wanna move that arm, right? I wanna rotate it, so let's see what it looks like. Before I do, I think before I do, let's save, it's always a good idea. Save, yes, let me sip coffee. Right, I know drinking coffee with a straw is ridiculous, right? That's insane. Um, but I have a friend who has incredibly white teeth and uh, they only think drink things through straws, like unless it's water, obviously. And I'm like, I can't knock that hustle. So I wanna try drinking through a straw. And uh, I got a lot of F's on here. That's, I didn't mean to do that. I don't, I don't give any F's on here. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Okay, cool. All right, so I got the, the thing is saved. I got his arm. Let's do this, shall we? I'm gonna go in. I wanna rotate this. And because it's split, I don't have to worry about twisting or anything like that when it comes to the, um, to the body. All right, so I want to get it kind of where the ball joint of that shoulder is. And um, it's one of those situations where it's really nice to have your icon in the upper right-hand corner because what that does is it allows me to see the orientation. All right, so I know that this is the straight on right here. Um, and if that's where that is, let's turn back on Morty. I just want to kind of line this up a little bit just so I can see. It's always good to have the shoulder oriented kind of where it would be. All right, so that's that. So now what I can do, right, is I can go in and I can start to do things like rotate it. Um, and see where I want this thing. And I don't have to worry about it getting jacked up. Now I'm probably gonna, you know, obviously bend the the elbow a little bit and play with the hand and stuff. But I gotta say I like the play between the tentacle and the uh, and the the way that the hand is kind of going in and out of it now a little more. All right? It's not perfect. Also, it came to, it, it kind of came out of the shoulder. Uh, I didn't want it to do that, but 
because it's its own piece, it's easy enough to sculpt all that back together. So anyway, I don't know if I told you guys last time, last time, but um, I got a new client, and I think it's okay that I say that it's Sideshow. So I've been going after Sideshow forever, and now I'm doing a little something with them, which is cool to me. I'm a big fan of statues, if you didn't know that. So that's okay. And that silhouette is, um, you know, obviously it's hard to read, but I do like the fact that the leg is on it. It's doing its own thing. It's off in the air. He feels a little more like he's being uh, kind of held in place only by the tentacle, kind of just floating in air, which is going to look really cool when he is um, printed, I think. Right. And I want to make sure that pieces are kind of intersecting on each other to feel like, um, you know, like if there was a tentacle wrapping around you, obviously he would be wrapping around you. He wouldn't just be kind of floating around you. That's silly, right? That's not how it goes down. All right, cool. So that arm is there. The hand is there. That's cool. Now, what I had done before is I had his shoe attached to his hand. So when I print it, it will, um, it will, obviously, it'll be able to print. So let's do this, right? I'm going to go, and I'm going to mask off this shoe, which I want to move. If anybody has any questions about anything I'm doing, just let me know. All right, so now I originally had sculpted that tentacle with the arm on top. That's why it kind of looks compressed there. But let's do this. Let's put the shoe... Let's put the shoe on the tentacle, on it, not in it. All right, let's put the shoe on the tentacle. What I want to do is I want to make this feel dynamic. And so that's why I'm doing what I'm doing, you guys. And like the thing just kind of flew off of his foot. So. It's one of those things where I'll know it's right when I see it. Um, okay, maybe tilt it up a little bit like it just kind of... You ever see when kids kick their shoes off and they like fly across the room? That's what I'm going for. So that's not too bad, um, and that arm is, I'm feeling the arm, right? I got to play with some of it, but I got to tell you, I'm not, I'm not mad at that. I think that looks better than it did before, actually. All right, turn on a little perspective. Uh, that shoe, maybe it should be more like this. Okay, and forward, maybe it's just on the end of the thing. The thing I like about, too, about, so I got this PLA printer, uh, filament printer, and um, it's over there. Trust me, it's over there, you guys. I don't want to mess with the camera. Uh, but the great thing about it is it's so light that it, um, uh, the, the, the filament itself is so light that you can do really dynamic prints and not have a whole lot of points of contact and it'll stay like I, I did a Zion print if you hadn't seen it which I'm always I won't shut up about the thing I'm always talking about it but um all of his weight is just on one toe and that's holding him up in the air all right I actually like that I like that shoe I like that arm there right he's got his other blaster this is Morty. He's not super smart, so he's going to blast this thing and probably take off his own leg, but that's Morty. Um, 
and I have uh, his toe coming out of his sock. So let's do this. I haven't looked at any questions in a while. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. Um, you didn't cut your face today, shaving. I did not. Today is not the toilet paper episode. I was warned not to leave any toilet paper on my face. I did shave. Um, I did not get a haircut. Ergo, the cap. I never wear caps, but I'm wearing this one. All right. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Style. I can't believe no one told you before. Yeah, no, it was crazy. It's all good. Congratulations on Shy Show. Thanks, man. Thank you. Um, what's up, John? What kind of printer is it? Okay, printer I have is the Creality Ender 5, 6, 7. Ender, what the hell do I have? 7, I think. I think it's a 7. It's not the 5. That's the one that Grisetti has. I have the 7. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have a 7. Um... Which is, uh, I mean, basically the same thing as Corsetti's, which you see him what he does. It's incredible for $350. You can't beat it. Can't beat it. Okay, cool. So there's my shoe. Um, let's turn back on the portal and see what we're looking at. There's a portal. Maybe the portal has color. I already like that a lot better, actually. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's better. It looks awkward yet. Yeah. Okay. And it's interacting with the tentacle. That's what it's all about. So with these poses, I have a friend who's a master poser. Dude's name is Brad. And he kind of taught me about pushing poses. And that's why my stuff looks far less boring than it did, I don't know, this time last year. Um, so shout out to Brad. I have another friend named Tony who's like the master retopo guy. And uh, he made and donated these shoes for me. So shout out to Tony. And then uh, and that's it for this one. No more shouts. Oh, no. I take that back, actually. Um I got a email the other day from uh, from someone who watched the stream, and before this is over, I'm going to give him a great big shout out because he sent me. I asked for suggestions for my mic drops, which is like a little YouTube five minute thing I do where I go on and I I teach you how to do something or I just show a technique that I have. And I did like two episodes, right? Only because um, I didn't know what to do, didn't think it all the way through. But um, one of them got like a ton of views for using gradient maps in Photoshop. So this is the, 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 I, the guy watched the YouTube thing. He saw I wanted suggestions rather than just like blowing me off or giving me one. He gave me like a page of really cool ideas. So guess what? Mic Drops is coming back. 2020, you guys, Mic Drops. All right. Um, how many gigs of, RAM, gigs of RAM do you have? ZBrush is eating all my RAM 32. I need to okay. All right, so I have 64. My machine now, actually, let me show you something. I'll show you something. All right, probably gonna mess up my camera, but my machine, I just got, I don't know if you can see this, um, I got a 2080 Ti, um, and I put a vertical mount in there, so that's what the lights are, they're pretty sweet. Um, I got a new um, processor, which is the, 3900 it's an AMD chip um, 39 I think that's right 3900 I didn't get the 3950 um, but it's much faster and I also got um, I knew I was gonna mess up my camera you guys sorry about that I also got uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, 64 gigs of RAM so it's pretty snappy way snappier than it was I had like a 1700 X in there now it's 30 3900 X so I'm balling out of control. Merry Christmas early. All right, cool. Um, so what did I say I was gonna do? All right, there, I got my arm there, I got my foot there. Let's, uh, let's go in and make sure that arm is attached to the body. How about that? So I'm gonna turn off the 
portal, turn off his shirt, turn off his shoes, and I'm going to go to his arm. All right. <laughs> I actually like the arm separated. That's pretty cool. All right. So then now what I can do is I can just kind of make sure that everything. You're not going to see it, but just get it kind of where it belongs. It's not bad, actually. I don't know who that is. I'm not going to answer that, you guys. I'm also not going to cut it off because I like Sanford and Son. All right, that's that. Um, let's do this. Okay. So eventually what I'll probably end up doing is just going ahead and merging this all together with like a Boolean feature. But um, so then that way I can just have, or maybe I won't, I don't know. I mean, the shirt really kind of hides the seams, so. I don't think I'm gonna sweat it, you guys. I'm not gonna worry about it. Ain't nobody gonna see that that arm is cut off. Nobody's gonna see that. There you go, let's just get the shirt. Boom. What you know about it? You don't know that arm's cut off. You tell anybody, I'll kill you. Just kidding. So there's the arm. Um, ba, 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 ba. And there's that. Okay. Cool. So now I'm going to sculpt on this arm. And the thing too is I don't think I have any. Um, I don't think I have any uh, subdivision levels, do I? Let's see. I do actually. D, 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 D. All right, so, all right, it's cool, all right, because I think the geometry is good on this. Let's take a look. And I have the fingers split off so I can work on the fingers by themselves. I actually like this. I believe I'm going to keep it. Actually, what I'll do is I'll take the shoulder and the... Take the shoulder and that and group it. Okay, that's one group. All right, cool. And now I can sculpt. So um, I just have my standard brush. And you can see that it's still not high subdivision level. It's only 62,000 points. Actually, let's do another subdivision level. Just do. All right, let's undo all that. There you go. So divide this a bit more. Well, it's at the highest. Of, oh, maybe it's. Oh, take it back. All right. Um. So let's go to my clay build up, and then uh, let's sculpt some more. And I wanted to get some good reference, actually, obviously. All right. So I got one dude. Muscle dude, this guy. He's got a pretty good arm here. Okay, let's see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You want to get the 3900X as well for the summer? Sick build. Thanks, man. No, it's, it's a really good one, actually. 2716. Yeah, I almost pulled the trigger on the 2700, and I was like, thank goodness I waited a little bit longer. Is that a Rick and Morty portal? Well, yes, it is. 37, 39. Yeah, just do it. You're never too old. I didn't start using ZBrush until, I don't know, like six years ago. 
and I'm old as hell. Um, AMD all the way. Yeah, the Ryzen, the Ryzen um, chips are, are dope. They are very nice. All right, so the other thing is I want to see... I want to see if I have to bend that arm a little bit. I think I do. Actually, maybe I don't. I actually kind of lucked out. Yeah, it's touching the tentacle. I just want to make sure it has good contact because what will happen is I will seam it together. Um, the other thing I do want to do, let's do this. Let's go to this. Um, oh, I don't have any subdivision levels. I forgot. Um, I want to make it feel like this tentacle is over his arm, not under it. There. So if you guys know me, you know I, I usually do superhero stuff. I don't really do a lot of creature stuff. But I will tell you, like, making this tentacle has been fun. Like, super fun, actually. I like it a lot. Especially putting all the little, like, weird phalange type things on there. All right, that's cool. Um, okay, so what you can see here is his arm was on top of it on this part. And that's why it's divoted in like that. I'm not too upset with the way that that looks, but you can see it has no texture, right? So let me do this. I'm going to turn this off, turn off perspective. I'm going to uh, smooth out this part, actually. Let's grab this is the H polish. I just want to get rid of this. Like, that's the fatty deposit that was up against the arm. Okay, so I just want to smooth this down a little bit, right, like that, because now it's just the tentacle. Okay, so that's not bad. Now, let's do this. I want that texture back, right? So one of the things that I was doing early is I was using, you know, small section where I did some skin texturing and some, I hand did like the little pimples and stuff, for lack of a better word, on there. And so now what I can do is I can grab the, um, let's just use one of the, instead of doing, so you can do this two ways. Um, you can use just any brush you want, which I grab the standard brush. And then if I go to my alpha, I can select from brush, right? And then I can just kind of hover over a part with some texture. So let's say I want to first get some of those, um, like mid frequency details, what I would first do is just kind of drag this out. Uh, went from, did I hit from? From brush. Yeah, so see how it turns blue? And I would just drag this kind of out over the section I want. And that's going to take time to process because this is about 668,000 points. So when that's done, I think having o OBS on is slowing it down because it was much snappier earlier. Uh, oh, I missed a lot of stuff. All right. You saw the latest Rick and Morty episode. So what do you think of the new season? Um, I've got to be honest with you. I wasn't loving the new season until the last couple episodes. Um, I'm a big fan and I've watched all the seasons like about a thousand times, but um, the I wasn't really feeling where they were going with it up until the last two episodes. Um, I kind of like the one with the, the first one with uh, the the different Morty um, like uh, iterations and stuff. That was kind of dope. But this last one with the snakes, Terminator snakes, brought me back. I'm back on board. Snake Hitler, crazy. 
Snake John Wilkes Booth. Are you kidding me? All right. Why is this not? I don't know why that's on there. Okay, that's gone. All right. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Use the CPU for render and Houdini stuff. Absolutely. And then I watched your video with Shane. Really enjoyed it. Oh, cool. Cool. Shane is amazing. And a really good guy, too. I love all the Disney Infinity stuff that he's, you know, he's done. I love it. Let's see. Commit latest Rick and Morty was crazy with the snakes. Yeah, the snakes were crazy. Um, budget do you have? Okay, you guys are talking. Hey, Mike. Hey, chat. What's up, Attendant Slug? What's going on? All right, cool. All right, cool. All right, so um, I just did the from brush. It's done now, right? So now I have it on here. So what I can do is just drag out. Let me see. I want it to be, I don't want it to be dots. I want it to be drag rec. So I'm just going to change that to drag rec. And it's not working. Okay. So luckily, I saw, oh, the intensity is way down. Let's turn that up. Mm, I don't love that. Let's turn it up even more. Let's see. Yeah, okay, that didn't do a good a good capture. Now, luckily you can go back and you can grab earlier ones. Sometimes if you don't have it's camera dependent. So, when I grabbed that that texture with from brush, it wasn't a good angle. So, you can see like if you look at the alpha over here, you can see there all that gray space with nothing on it. It didn't capture anything. So, I have some over here that I've already done. I'll just select this alpha right here and if I drag it out Look at that, boom, boom, boom. That's better. All right, so now it's pushing in a little too much because I have my intensity turned up too high. So let's turn it back down to like 22. And now I can just start to get some of that low frequency detail, right? I just want to get some texture there. I don't want it to be smooth. So this is like the first level, right, which is cool. And then if I want to, I can turn it up, turn up the intensity, and drag out some more. And I can also, I like to hold down Option sometimes and go back the other way. So Option, instead of, if you have uh, Z Add selected, it will subtract from your mesh. You'll push in instead of pull out, right? So that's what I'm doing here. And then this is all right, right? But let's, let's, let's switch to a different alpha, which I captured earlier. These are all things that were parts of this tentacle that I just did up from brush or I used the extractor brush. So just to show you the specific brush you can use to capture, let's go get one that has like some little pimples on it. All right, so let's say I want this part right here. What I can do now is I can go and select brush. I can go down to extractor and um, I will do drag, uh, drag rect, right, which is what I want. And if I hold, is it G? Yeah, okay, you hold G, or just tap G, and the cursor turns blue. And then you just drag out. You see that little line getting longer? Can you see that? Okay, that's what it's selecting. I'm gonna say that much. And then you just wait for a while, it's gonna capture that little sphere of influence, that circle. It's doing that. There's new messages. Let's see what I miss. Oh, uh, for the cooling, I have a um, I have a liquid cooler, and it's by. Uh, I can't crank. I can't remember. It's by, um, it's not like a Phoenix logo. Someplace in like Europe. I'll figure it out and I'll show you guys. Bear Wolfish, yeah. I like those icons. All right, I'm gonna put it around. Okay, you guys are having a PC discussion. Okay, so this thing is done now. It collected it. If I look over here, See, again, it didn't do a good, if I hover over it, see how it only has the, the alpha up at the top there? Like the, the information? It's not what I want. Maybe if I make my brush smaller, then I drag it out. Well, no. I don't want to press.
press G, then drag it out. Okay, let's do this. Let's see if this one does it. I'm still getting the hang of this. Oh, thank you. You like the hat? It pays to be a member. All right, so that's selected. That one looks worse than the last one. I did see, yeah, that sucks. Um, okay, so that's normally how it works. I did see a video with um, um, flip normals, and uh, they said that sometimes it's like a little glitch. Sometimes, if you restart um, ZBrush, you'll get a better result. So, like, you'll it'll work again. All right, so my intensity went to eight. I want to turn that up because I want to be able to see. See, there you go. And I'm just dragging out. And I'm just dragging out that texture. All right. And if I hold Option, I'm pushing in. So it's a really quick way to get um, to get skin texture. But like that you've done, and um, and reapply it, kind of remix it. So there's that. Get rid of that bald spot. Nobody wants that. Okay, why is it doing that close? So one thing, one thing I can do, and I probably should have done, it would have been easier. Close. Oh, I got touch screen turned on. Let's turn it off. Uh, if I used a VDM, I could make these little nipply things here, and it would be a lot easier than having to redraw them out. But let me show you something. Let me show you something. I was so now if I look back, see now it that part that the oops frame. So now the part that the arm was on top of looks better now. But what I can do, see now it's kind of running into the bicep and it doesn't look exactly the way I want. So let's fix that. I'm all about it being right. You know, because like if there was a giant tentacle coming out of a portal, you'd want it to be right. You know, that's just kind of how it goes. I want it to wrap around that bicep. And uh, so let's. And then the other thing too is I really like kind of putting the so you know obviously you have muscle and then you have skin and then you have your the, the fat that's underneath in there on top of the muscle, and so and that goes for everything. So um, when I look at octopi or whatever, that's right, octopi, yeah. Um, they're very muscular in these tentacles, but there's also, uh, you know, there's also like that, I, I guess it's not fat, whatever the hell their equivalent of fat is. And so it's going to, when it wraps around you and constricts, it's gonna kind of bulge up in the areas where it has contact. So that's what I'm gonna do now. It's like a really long, boring way of just inflate it where it touches. And uh, let's use, I'm going to use the clay spin. And I just want to get, I just want to get like a, a bit of a rise there. And I can also use my inflate. Like that. I just want it to feel like it's pressing up against that bicep, right? And then I would have on Morty, I would have his bicep kind of react too, you know. Um, so maybe like it goes up here, like that. Let's turn off that portal. It's in my way. Let's turn off the alpha. Turn on the tool. Turn off the portal. 
Yeah, and in fact, we can turn off everything but his arm. So let's do that. Turn off everything but his arm. There you go. So now, let's get rid of the gun. Where's the gun? Gun, 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 gun. There it is. Speaking of space guns and best episodes ever, the new Mandalorian's off the chain, you guys. That's the joint I've been waiting for. If you haven't seen it, no spoilers, but it's dope. Please watch. And then write an essay. <clears throat> Alright, so that's that. Um, let's kind of do the same thing here. And then by doing it this way, it, it almost looks like he's got the suckers or whatever stuck to his skin, which is kind of kind of cool. All right, so that's that. That's not bad. Um, now I just want to see really how this tentacle is interacting with his arm. So what I can do is if I solo this out, solo it, and I go and uh, let's just select the parts that are near his arm. Pretty much nailed that. Let's close that. Okay, and for Morty, let's do this. I'm gonna hide his hand because that's in the way. If you know what I'm saying. All right, uh, for the tentacle, I want a little bit more there. So let's do this. Let's grab this part. There it is. All right, that's what's up. All right, so now I can go in and I can really detail the crap out of this where it touches him. And maybe for this part, I want it to go, like I don't want it to look like it's doing what it's doing there so maybe what I'll do is I'll grab like my slash brush I do this a lot solo it and then maybe cut this in right and then I'm like oh no I just messed it up I'll just undo it um, but let's grab this solo maybe it's over here I think yeah, it's better all right and then when I smooth it So now I can go and pull this back and down. Like that. that um, let's make it interesting maybe he's got like some like muscular type stuff going on here build this part up a little bit let's 
So when I sculpt, I'm always just cutting in and building up and taking away, just like it's real clay. Like everybody else does. I'm not special. Although, now that I have that Clio award, kind of getting a big head, you guys. Make all my friends address me as Clio award winning Mike T when I enter a room now. It's not wrong, is it? And I take it with me, like even when I go to the gas station. This whole thing? Oh, man. Yeah, this is a Clio award, you guys. I don't know. Everybody's got one of these. Whatever. No big whoop. So that might be a problem. All right, so that's looking better. All right, let's turn this back on. Uh, I want it to look like it's really kind of dipping in on his arm. So let's, yeah, that's better. All right, so that's that. Let's do the same thing over here. Yeah, and then I can inflate, inflate, boom, boom, boom. Gas is up right there. I like it. Okay. I know it's right when it looks gross, so killing it. All right, that's that. Um, now let's do the same thing down here. The other thing that's good is if I have like a good connection point, then when it prints, I know that it's going to be really solid. And I can even print it out as separate parts if I want, but there's going to be, when I glue it, it's I don't have to worry about it falling off when my cat knocks it over. And you know she's going to knock it over. That's just what she does. Okay. I kind of like the way that this looks, this part right here. Sculptors Pro, but I believe I have to have the entire mesh showing to use it. Yeah, I do. So let's unhide. And then now, now I can get all the resolution I want without subdividing, which is pretty sweet. It's funny, most of that's hidden. Okay, and then let's grab my standard. I want to get rid of that alpha that I had on there before. <clears throat> and I just want to kind of like put some, oops, I don't want to drag wreck, I want dots. Now what I can do is I can um, just make it look like a skin. Another thing I like to do is too is um, like I'll mask an area if I want like a nice sharp transition and then just kind of pull it down. And uh, sometimes inflate.
this alpha for a second. It was a little too sharp. I think it's better. Okay. So now before I would have been really bummed out if I had to if I had skin texture on here and then I went and decided to uh, re-sculpt an area, like say this was my Hulk arm or something, where I spent a whole lot of time with my uh, with my alphas and, and texturing it with skin, I'd be bummed out because I got to do a lot of smoothing, right? And then you lose it, and it looks weird because you have a bald spot there with no texture. Um, now it's not a big deal because I can just grab the uh, I can grab my um, extractor brush which I let's see this is on the inside so let's do a new one so brush extractor drag rack and uh, make the brush a little bigger and let's just um, oops let's turn off that and press G to capture and then we can grab the texture, right? And let's see if this works. Let's see if this third time's a charm, you guys. Man, I missed a lot of stuff. All right, let me answer these. Ba, 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 ba. All right, let's see. Um, okay. What's the longest time you spent on sculpt and your favorite your favorite sculpt that you've done? The longest time is uh, it's either my bishop or my trap jaw, I think, or Hulk. I don't know, probably Hulk. It's a long time because um, I had two poses, one where he was running, and uh, my favorite sculpt. I don't know. They're they're kind of like kids. You can't. It's hard to choose one. Um, and if you do, you're the bad guy. Like, what's that all about? Uh, so no, I don't know. I don't know. All right. Um, goes hard. Haven't seen a fan of new Rick and Morty, so I'm not feeling it. You're not feeling it. Uh, watch the latest episode of the commit. It's dope. Um, do you have you plan to put this in the model? Just yeah, I'm gonna print this. Finish my 2D print. Nice. nice. Nice, congratulations, man. The artist doing the illustrations at the end of the Mandalorian credits. You know what? This is my thing. So I'm an illustrator full time, that's what I do. I don't know, and if, if it is an illustration, my apologies to whoever did it, but it kind of looks like they ran a filter over the scene. I haven't really looked at it that close. Which would be a bummer because I've done illustrations where I spent a whole lot of time and someone came over and asked me what filter I used in Photoshop. Like when I first started doing uh, advertising, I spent weeks uh, doing a, a hip hop painting and someone was like, oh, that's cool. What filter did you use? And it helped me out. So uh, if I did that, I apologize. What kind of glue do you use to put your prints back together? So I use... Um, I just use crazy glue. Do I use crazy glue? Crazy glue or a two-part epoxy. Um, and then I fill it with wood putty. And that usually does the trick. Um, hey man, I like your work and your hat. Hey, thanks, Slinky Wiz. Doug, you like your Ender Pro. Will your Ender produce any of the detail you're putting into that skull? You know, I'm glad you asked, Dougie. Let me show you. Let me show you something. Hold on a second. For everybody else that's seen this, don't get mad at me because Dougie just asked. So, yeah, it it keeps a lot of detail. So, um, I don't know if you can see the basketball. Let's focus, focus, focus. All right there's little nipples on the basketball and my signature and the shoe is is off the chain like it keeps everything 
keeps everything, keeps the skin detail in, in his arm and the Z in the side of his head. So, yeah, it's fresh. All right. I apologize, everybody, who's had to suffer through seeing that sculpture a million times. Let's go this way. There you go. All right, back to the deal. Okay, I, I think it captured it. Let's try it now. I want the drag rack. Okay, I think it worked. I think it worked. Let's turn up the intensity. Yeah. All right. So that's what's up. So now what I can do is I can come over here and I can use it to get some of that texture. All right. Maybe not so heavy over the first pull. All right. So now it's not just super smooth anymore. And same thing like goes up here. So if I wanted to go and add some of that texture in here, I can totally do it. I'm going to show you how I did these little um, these little nipply things too. It's a scientific term, you guys. Let's be adults. Thanks, Distract. Alright. So yeah, I'll just put a little bit of that up in here. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. And then let's do some over here. And there are alphas and textures you can use already that, that pretty much do what I'm doing. But I just like the fact that I can make my own or, you know, take multiple little stamps of areas and really quickly just keep um, populating my, my model with them. All right, so let's turn the arm back on. That's cool. Okay. And then maybe I want to, maybe it's too much in some areas, like I'll smooth it out and then I can add more. I do go back and forth a lot on everything. And so now I can go in and let's make that especially kind of gross. That's the thing, like Rick and Morty, if you look at the cartoon, it's funny and everything looks, you know, haha, -ha, when you see these monsters and stuff. But I'm thinking, like, if you saw these things in real life, it would be terrifying. Um, so that's what I want. That's what I want to do. That's my point. And you'll see when I when I start painting this guy, even though he's going to have like really cool chameleon colors, it's still going to be scary and gross. That's how you know you did it right. So I'm just making up stuff here. Um, show everything. Oh, that is everything. Is that everything? Yeah, it is. Okay. And there's the arm. All right, so let's do this. Um, I want to show you how I did the little parts here. So now what I can do is I'm going to save, save, I'm going to move this out of the way, like that, um, I'm going to make a copy, not a copy, but you know, like a little screenshot of Let's just do, let's just do this part, okay.
So um, I just made a screenshot. And now I can go in on those parts that are near his arm and I can start adding some of those little things, right? Um, so let's do that. Let's see, all I wanna know is when do Hulk get his turn? Hey, what's up, Lens? Yeah, you're right, Hulk has gotta be finished. I gotta be done with that. I'm gonna print that one. I say it every time, I'm definitely gonna print it. Sit and finish Blade Runner. I don't see Blade Runner, man. Come on. Don't bring me down. I am one of the few people that is not a giant fan of Blade Runner. And I think you know that, Komet. Um, I give it props, but I'm not a fan. I don't think it holds up at all. Hey, Mike, uh, did you make the brush? No, I didn't. I need to. I need to. I gotta do a whole lot of stuff. Morph targets. I love them. I've used them before. How's everything? Oh, done. All right, cool. All right, so let's make these little things real quick, shall we? Um, now, the way that I was, let me show you the way I was doing it, and then I'll show you why that way is stupid. Um, what I would do is I would select a part, right? Invert the mask. Like I made a mask, little circle, I'm using my mask lasso, like that. And then what I would do with Sculptures Pro on is I would pull out the geometry, right? Like that, something like that. And then I would smooth it, and then I would go and inflate it, like that, okay. That's the way I was doing it. But after giving it some thought, I was like, okay, well, let's cut out a step. And I never really used the snake, uh, the snake sphere before, basically like the cactus brush. But it cuts out all those steps. Like, you don't have to do all that. You can just pull out, make your brush whatever size you want, and then just pull out the thing, right? Let's make it a little smaller, like this. Pull it out, whatever direction you want. Maybe I'll pull out a bunch of them. Like that. Okay, then I can go in and do the same thing. I can smooth the base to make it feel like it's coming out of the base, right? Like that. This looks like some Rick and Morty business right here. Okay, and that by smoothing it with with uh, Sculptors Pro on, it's also kind of reducing the size of the um, of the base. And then I can go in and grab my inflate brush again and hit those tops, and just kind of bulb them out. You know what I mean? Like this, and then just like smooth and inflate, smooth inflate, smooth inflate. So you can see how that's a way to quickly go in and do those little nubbins and uh, and you can do a bunch of them. Now, if I really wanted to take the time and, uh, and do them with a VDM brush, a vector displacement brush, it wouldn't take that long, but the thing is I could capture a patch of these and then I could just go and drag wreck out as many as I want. I could fill this whole thing up. Um, I think, and I was thinking about that, but I think I, they're a little distracting, so I don't know if I want them everywhere. Um, where was that? The snake sphere. Yeah, I don't know that I, I want them everywhere. Also, I don't know, something, it's a lot to do, but it's kind of fun just making a bunch of these things on their own. And I'm just grabbing and pulling them out at different angles. All right, and then I could even go in and uh, just use my move tool. And if I don't want to, um, yeah, like I can just gun. Forget what I was going to say. I can just move them around and make them feel a little more like 
I say I want to just move this one make them feel a little more organic and don't matter don't matter don't worry about them getting um, screwed up because what happens is if I were to smooth them and then go and inflate them again it gets rid of whatever like little kinks that get put in the base when I drag them around so just by smoothing and reinflating you can get some really cool effects if you know what I'm saying I love Sculptures Pro. That's how I did that Venom that's on the Pixelogic page. Like, I really love that. I've been so concerned with good topology that I haven't been using it, the Sculptures Pro. And I mean, I know I can just re topo, but. For whatever reason, I thought, oh, everything's got to have really good topo and clean and this, that, and a third. But um, after talking to guys like Daniel Bell and seeing Grissetti's workflow on, um, you know, at the summit, those guys don't care about, they don't care about geo. They're just doing, um, they just want a good print, you know, which is all I want. I don't care about, I'm, not, I'm never going to animate this. I don't care about animating. People ask me all the time, yo, when are you going to animate your stuff? I'm not. Don't ask. That's not my thing. So maybe I want to have some smaller ones that aren't really raised up. Maybe what happens with this is um, as you like as it touches something, um, these little things kind of raise up the closer they are to the contact point. Right. I'm thinking about this way too much, you guys. So maybe, you know, maybe where it touches, it's longer, but where it, uh, like, it kind of fades out as it gets away from the area of, of effect. Just hitting those tops with inflate and then smoothing the bottom. It just feels like some Rick and Morty type stuff to do. Alright, so that's that. Uh, turn Morty's arm back on. That's cool. Alright, let's show all of his. Let's show the hand. And in fact, let's turn on. Maybe you just got here. You're like, what the hell is that thing? Let's turn on the whole deal. One of these buttons turns on everything. There it is. Well, that's really everything. Ooh, we Rick. And the port. Boom. And let's put the color back on everything. All right. So as you can see, Rick needs a shoe. Um, he needs a lot of work, actually. I think I'm gonna give Rick a little. Uh oh. What's that other? Oh, okay. I have two Mortys. I forgot. I got the old Morty. Let's turn off. <clears throat> Let's turn off the old Morty. There he is. All right, he is gone. But we actually let's. You know what? Let me do something. I want to compare. Let's see if I made the right call, you guys. Let's turn this one off and this one off and this one on. And turn off. Uh, let's turn off Rick. No Rick. And let's turn off. Mr. Poopy Butthole right there. Let's go back down to Morty and his shirt. Okay. All right. Why 
is he still on? Get out of here with your eye holes. All right, there he goes. All right, cool. So there's uh, that one. Pay no attention to the shoe because it, now it makes no sense. Okay, but that's where his arm was before, right? Um, like that. Uh, let's turn off the portal so we can see. All right, so that's where his arm was before. I'll do a couple of angles. There's that one. These are the angles I didn't like. For one thing, it covers his face. You can't even see his face when I put it at that side. All right, so there's that one. All right, now. Now, let's do it, you guys. Let's turn off the old one and turn on the new one. O-M-G, you guys. This is so much better. All right, that's better. I'm not just saying that because I did it. Also, I'm saying that because I did it. All right, there's that one. And let's do this angle. This angle. Yeah, no, that's way better. All right, I'm a genius. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. It's my old bomb. Thanks, Obama. All right. Um, so, yeah. Right, I'm feeling that. Let's hide. Let's hide. Let's hide those. Let's save the thing. Uh, save. Yes, yes, and um, all right, let's go back. Ba, 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 ba. Da, da, da. Did you finally okay? Blade Runner, no, first pack, no. Let's see, morph target is Bay 380 Sayer Sculpt. So you're sculpting damage. Morph target before you start. Sculpt. You need to pull back. Yes, absolutely. However, now you can just use a history recall. So it's kind of a moot point. And history recall isn't topology dependent, which means that if I decide um, I want to go back and, like, say I want to store this point for the, uh, for the tentacle. Or say I want to go back before I did any of those little nipply things, right? I can go all the way back. Let's do this. Let's do a test. Let's go all the way back. Bah, 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 bah. Wait, I don't think I'm on the tentacle. First, be on the thing you want to affect. Um, and don't let Morty be gray. All right, so there's that. Let's hide everything else, okay? So now let's say, ah, I did all these little things, but I don't want them. So I'll go back. Let's go way back. Um, let's hope it doesn't crash. Okay, there you go. All right, so let's say that's, well, that's super far back. All right, but let's say we like that, right? Now if I hold down control, I think. What's it control? Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. All right. And then I go back to the end state where I have everything. Super bright in here, you guys. That's why I'm squinting. Okay. I think that's right. Yeah. Well, almost to the end. I wish there was a button that just takes you right to the end. If there is, let me know. That is the end. All right. So now what I could do if I go and um, instead of having to worry about morph target, what I could do is I could go to my brush. I think it's history recall, right? Let's see. Let's hide this stuff that's in the way. Everything's in the way. Brush. Brush. H. History recall. All right. So if I click on this, now and I size it up, it should do like a morph target thing, like a where it'll race. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It's crazy, you guys. It's great. And I didn't have to worry about... Now, I like the morph target. Don't get me wrong. But a lot of times I'll forget to do it. 
I'll forget to store a morph target. Or I'll store a morph, tar morph target and I'll do something and I won't store another one and it was something that I liked and I don't want to erase away the things that I liked. You feel me? So this is a cool way to go in and do it. Now I'm looking over here and it looks like possibly I went I don't know that this was it supposed to be there? <coughs> yeah, so okay. So here's a perfect example. I have one of those little nipply things on the outside of the tentacle. It's not supposed to be there, it's supposed to be on the inside. So what I could do now is I could go over here and just erase that joint away. Alright, so maybe I'll get my brush a little smaller. Um, and maybe now the only thing about it you got to be careful of it's camera dependent which means that you want to have you want to have it flat on with the camera mm, and you can't do it with the mesh hidden I don't think let's see can you nope Ooh, that's not right so I could do that right and then it's gone and I have that little bit here that needs to be fixed, but that's not that's not hard. So I do like history recall. It's pretty fresh. Hey, look at me, I'm doing 2020 stuff, you guys. And my straw got busted. Alright. Straws with coffee. It's a dicey deal. Sometimes it works, especially if they're paper straws. I'm environmentally conscious, you guys, so... I mean, I could use plastic, but I don't want to kill seagulls. All right, that's that. All right, the tentacles do make it look busy. Too much eye can make it... Yes, you're right, Doug. You are correct. So maybe I'll erase away some of them. Keep some of them. I like some. I, don't, I wouldn't have the whole thing covered, no way. All right, uh, good technique. That Venom was nutso. Thanks, man. Yeah. I had fun with that one. I was supposed to do something for this round of um, ZBrush, but I was working on client stuff. I didn't have time to do anything, like the 2020 release. Have you peeped the Watchmen series? Yeah, I like it. I like it. Um, it's funny. I like everything but Dr. Manhattan. He's all right. He was so good in the movie. Um, he feels a little, like, budget on the TV show. But I do like the TV show. Flippin' L made looking good. Thank you, Bear Wolf Fish. Done, ship it. Yeah. Theory, what's up, Theory? 2020 stuff. Yeah. What's up, Pro? Pro, what's up? I haven't seen you in a minute. Alright, that's that. Um, where was that piece that I had just now, a second ago? Uh, the piece I just fixed. Is that supposed to be like that? I don't think that's supposed to be like that, is it? Nope. Thank goodness I have the history recall brush, because that's a mistake right there, you guys. Boom, what you know about it? It's gone now, sucker. Take that, stupid mistake. Don't come back around here anymore. All right, there's that. That just made 2020 worthwhile. You're welcome, commercial and scene. All right, I don't know where that piece is. I just fixed a second ago. It was on the outside, right? There was a nipple on the outside somewhere. If I can't see it, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, here it is right here. All right, cool. Let's fix that right quick, shall we? All right, let's just smooth this out. Boom, 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 boom. Inflate it right here. Okay, now I see what's happening here. So the mesh is folded in on itself there. It's okay. So if I just hide everything and turn on double, 
I can see the other side. And now I can just smooth it. This is one of those opportunities where if I had, normally I would have a lower res version of this mesh that I could just step down and erase. Not erase, but smooth. Um, but I, uh, I don't because I'm using Sculptress. Also, why am I tripping? I'm using Sculptress. So if I turn on Sculptress Pro, I'll just tessellate that sucker right out of there. And now, if I turn on, look at that. So now if I turn on the poly mesh, you can see it's gone. It's all gone. I'm the greatest of all time, everyone. All right, there's that. All right, so that's done. So now what I could do is I can turn back on um, the, uh, the arm. And um, I'm noticing that all of my texture is gone there. Let's inflate that a little more. Let's just inflate that some more. Turn off sculptures because what will happen is it will get tessellated um, and look ugly if I don't make the brush smaller. I know there's a way to adjust that. I just never figured it out. Right now I have it at like this standard setting where the larger your brush is, the larger the tessellation. And I don't want that. Alright, so that's cool. Um, now what I could do is I could go in and uh, I can turn on Sculptress, make my brush a little smaller. And now if I smooth it, it's crispy. Right? It's super, super clean. Like that. And I can hit all these little these little nubbins too with a smaller brush and they're going to smooth out and look really pretty right? although nobody's going to zoom in like that just me um, so there's that uh, the texture I can go back and add now I can do one or two things you guys tell me what you want me to do I can paint do some poly painting which I really enjoy doing on this tentacle or I can work on uh, either Morty's arm or Rick. Or I can make Pencil Vester. What time is it? 2.27. I'm on until 4. So you tell me. What do you want? Pencil Vester, Tentacle, Rick, or Morty? You guys make the call. Alright, let's see. Battle of the Planet Sculpt. Super. Thanks, man. Thank you. Have you peeped? All right, I already said that. Da, 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 da. Theory, I said hello. Pro, I said hello. TV Manhattan was a little too blue, not enough shading in the series as well. Yeah, the other thing too that was, I mean, I get it, it's smart. And they even kind of break the wall and address what everybody's thinking. Which I was like, okay, they don't want to spend a lot of money, so they're not making them glow. And she's like, yo, why aren't you glowing? And he's like, because I want to fit in which uh, kudos to you guy who was saving money where he could that's smart he looks like every other dude wearing blue makeup alright if you haven't seen that part I just spoiled a major plot line no I didn't YouTube's gonna kill me all right, so now um, let's go back to my standard brush. Let's go back to the alphas. I want to get some more of that skin texture back on the bottom. So I just grabbed it. I'm going to go back to Drag Rec. The great thing, too, about the, uh, what's it called, extractor brush or uh, saving uh, an alpha that you already have created by clicking on from brush you can get it two ways there's always like at least two ways to do everything in ZBrush is it stores them all right here in your alphas so I know from looking at them that the one that goes on the underside of this tentacle is this one and then I can just drag it out I'm supposed to be able to drag it out oh it's still on dots and I want to turn off Sculptress. So now that's not right, y'all. Is this the one? No, there it is. So now if I drag it out, why isn't it doing it? Blob. 
that's not what I want. I want standard. Standard is what I want. Standard. There you go. Standard, y'all. So now I can go and I can add that. I can add that in. Boom, 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 boom. And all those parts that I smoothed, I can just go in and add some of that texture back on the bottom. On the bottom. I'm moving on after this, so you guys got to tell me what you you want me to paint this thing tentacle, Rick, Morty, or Pencil Vester. I'm not playing with you guys. I ain't come here to play today. You make the call. I'm not going to be held responsible for what I work on. All right, that's that. I think I think that's about what I want. Yeah. And then on the back, I think I smoothed something too. Did I? I think I did. It was that part that I fixed, which is uh, it's over here somewhere. All right, whatever. Then I don't see it. It's cool. Whatever. Whatever, man. All right. Oh man, Rick. I want to give him eyes too, like uh, pupils, because he looks really weird right now. I want to give him pupils. Let's see what we want. Let's see. All right, Rick. Rick. Yep, Rick. Those are our people. All right, some dude about Barry Powers. He's tripping about Barry Powers. What's up, Barry King? Work on Rick. What size? I'm doing everything quarter scale now. Um, although this would be crazy quarter scale. It would be crazy quarter scale. That's too big. Maybe like, maybe sixth. Um, Mandalorian, yeah, absolutely. Blanz is dope. Banana looking dude. Uh, you better say the name. You know who he is. What's his name, Komet? Who's the banana looking dude? What's his name? Uh, so everybody wants Rick and um, all right so you guys made the call Rick it is I am gonna do these eyes on him real quick though all right um, so let's go hide the alpha tool let's save it save yes Let's come down to here. I'm going to take old Morty, which I don't need anymore because I know he sucks. I'm going to delete the... Let's go to the solo. All right, delete higher. And I'm going to turn him into a, a spear. Multiple. I thought I hit delete. Delete higher. Now I'm going to turn him into a spear. And... Where is, there's the sphere, okay. Everything I do pretty much starts with either a Q-sphere or a cube or a cylinder. I always use those things for everything. All right, so now this is gonna be my new pupil. I'm gonna move it up to where the eyes are. There's my eyes right there. All right, cool. Just so I can tell what it is, I'm just gonna give it some color where it is rather color fill booyaka go back to white all right now where's where's my eyeball it's way up there w. all right and the orientation of this thing doesn't matter at all I don't know why I did that but I just want to get it in the right place. And now I have to look at my reference. It's very important that I get this reference right. Hmm. 
Yeah. It's really important I did that. All right, let's shrink down the eyeball some more. He has a little teeny beady eye. Like that. Teeny beady eye. Boom, like that. And let's, oops, let's bring that out. Oh, it's huge. Huge. Let's bring it in. Okay. tentacle so like that's not bad and uh, then I'm gonna make a copy of it so I'm just holding down command uh, command control I used to be a Mac guy now I'm a PC guy so control on a PC command on a Mac All right and there's that eyeball I mean, I keep saying I bought pupil. All right, boom. Makes it so much better. All right, so there's that. Q. All right. But it's not done yet, you guys. Let's do something. dynamic subdivision that's cool okay apply it and delete lower right still super super low but now what I can do is I can uh, I can make it look squiggly like in the cartoon because I'm all about the details y'all let's turn off color Sculptures Pro. to look like a starfish obviously so I'm just gonna go in and smooth it out a little bit. That looks like a star, I don't like it. make these black. There you go. All right. It's a little detail, but it's the little details that mean the most. So now if we turn off our color and get it off black, now we're cooking with grease, you guys. So, um, that's that. Let's save it. Save as, save, yes. All right, working on Rick. 
why did you switch to PC? Um, so I was a Mac guy my whole life, and um, I would always buy the middle tier MacBook or Mac Pro, um, which always came in at like $2,500 and change. And uh, I didn't like the fact that I couldn't do upgrades. I mean, I kind of could, but I was limited in to what I could put in there. Um, you know, not memory, but I'm talking about like processor and graphics card. So I got, I got a, uh, the last graphics card I put in there, I think I had a 1080 Ti that I put in before I made the switch. And then I just decided to build a PC and, uh, it was much more powerful and it cost me less and I put in everything I wanted so that was it I didn't love and I still don't love Windows OS I think Mac OS is is better um, and I hate the fact that they have updates all the time um, but at the end of the day I'm, I'm happier on a PC than I was on a Mac all right, that's it um, flame on now you guys hate me now YouTube Digging the stash. It is still my stash. I've had this stash my entire life, Uber. Thank you. I made it myself. Um, what is your favorite brush to use? Uh, I love the clay spin, to be honest with you. It's clay spin, clay buildup are my faves. Um, but I have like five that I use all the time. The eyes need to be painted the way they are on the show. Need to make them 3D. Um, no need to make them 3D. Come on, you know I gotta, I gotta overthink everything. You know how I do. It's not my first rodeo. <coughs> okay, so there's Morty. Let's get a little Rick action. A little Rick on Rick violence. Um, close Morty. <coughs> Turn on the portal. Let's get some water. Some delicious Wacom water. Anyone? I don't want to brag, but I got this while I was on tour in South America. You have to do, uh, you have to do four different countries in order to get that bottle. Flame Windows is better. Walk and water. Beware the drivers. <laughs> I see what you did there. All right, cool. Um, okay, we want Rick. Yeah, let's get this. Let's get some of these clothes in order. They're real mushy right now. And some shoes for crying out loud. Uh, which is a saying that we say in the hood all the time is what we always say is for crying out loud. That's kind of a, sorry to get ghetto on you guys. That's kind of what we say around the way in DC. Um, all right, let's get that lab coat a little better. I don't like that. So go to my ref board. This is pure ref. Anybody that's asking or axing pure ref. Um, let's get, uh, let's get some more images for it. Lab coat. Images. Booyah! Lab coats. Um, tools size large. And um, let's say scientist. Mm. No, I don't like scientists. All right. Um, black coat, black coat, black coat. All right, this one's kind of. Just drag it right on here. Boom. Size it up. So funny. There's like no detail on these at all. I don't know why I'm getting them, but I am. Let's get 
this one, drag that on here. It's all about the reference, you guys. And the Benjamins, don't ever forget that. Um, the collar on this one is good. This one. Yeah, that's a good one. All right. Now what I really want is some um, Well, some wrinkles actually would be nice. Let's get that one. Okay. Okay. All right. I think that's good. Oh, this one's good. He's got folds on his arm. Let's take that one. Boom. See, there's always a better one. All right. So that's that. Let's move this out the way. Move. Bring this back over here. It's my pure ref. And uh, let's bring this up here. All right, cool. So um, I made this jacket when I first started messing around with Marvelous. And you can totally tell because I didn't even put lapels on it. I just added lapels in. Um, added them in ZBrush. Um, let's go click on here. Okay. Let's get over here. What's crazy? I still have, man, I did this so long ago. You can see I still have the, um, the guide from dragging that out. Let's delete that. Here it is. All right, so I want to make this lapel one thing, and then I want to get it on the coat, and I want to detail this coat a little bit. I do a rip board like that. Oh, um, what you talking about, distract? Uh, dragging them on, you just drag and drop. And then sizing is, um, there's key commands for all this, so I think, if I hold down Command Alt, it sizes, right? If I hold down Command Shift, it rotates, right? And drag. If I hold down uh, Alt Shift, it flips it. This is good because I used to do all this in Photoshop, and then I would bring it back in, and you can just skip all these steps. So that's it. Pure F is dope. If you guys aren't using it, you should. All right. So, um, let's get this coat looking a little more like a coat because right now it looks, it looks sad. It's a sad, sad coat, you guys. Lower reds. Do I have UVs on this? All right. So one thing I definitely want to do here is um, I want to make sure that I don't have the mesh kind of penetrating itself. So because I have poly groups, I can hold down uh, control. Yeah, control and click on it on the inside like that and it masks everything else and then I can do one of two things I can just kind of drag in until I hide all those parts where it intersects itself or I can inflate and like I definitely I definitely want to inflate around the edges like that's just something that needs to be done it's gonna help with the print big time And if you inflate and then smooth, if it's kind of folded over each other, it'll get that kink out. Right. Like that. Um,
that's the one thing about Marvelous is it will do uh, it'll do some really nice cloth sims but I've had issues and I know there's people who really know how to use it well I'm not great at it um, I have issues where it comes back and the mesh is either uh, too thin um, or it um, uh, the seams aren't welded even though I hit weld seams when I leave Marvelous uh, or the scale is, is, is really wacky so I don't like that so most of the time what I'll do now is I'll just I'll, I'll do the cloth directly in ZBrush um, if you know what I'm saying if you know what I'm saying Don't let me forget to shout out the dude that gave me the uh, the ideas for ZBrush Live. Or not ZBrush Live, sorry, uh, Mic Drops. Um, and if you don't want, know what that is or you want to check it out, if you go to my YouTube, which is um, right, right here, right here. Um, my hand is right there. There you go. That's my YouTube. If you go to my YouTube and... Uh, give me a follow or don't I don't care whatever man um, on there there's a section with my my videos and I have this thing called mic drops where I uh, I got a friend uh, who is a, uh, a producer and a and a rapper and he did the music for me and then uh, and then I also uh, and I just give you like tips how to do stuff. So I'm plugged in, man. I know people. I don't mess around. All right, so that's better already. I like that better. Um, let's get the lapel action in there. Yeah, that's way better. Okay, it just needed some thickness. That's the thing, man. When when I make um, when I make uh clothing there's a, just a lot of times when having the wrong thickness is going to be a problem also if you're going to print it and it's thin then that's not good not good all right there's a little pill let's open up this folder uh collars right here so let's go in oops don't want to do that let's get this where we want let's give it some color so i can see what i'm doing Color fill. There you go. And I just want to get this looking like it's coming out of his jacket. After I do the Boolean um, union, I can smooth it and it will all be one, one mesh. But for now, it's not. I mean, if I even do that, I don't know that I need to do that. But you can see it's not even in the right place. Because I did it real, real slipshod right here, you guys. That's what lazy people do. All right, what's that? Oh, I gotta be careful because I forgot that my man is holding on to the collar. Where is he? There he is. Yeah, okay, he's holding on to the collar. this big time so it I don't have to worry about it being thin let's do that um, inflate the crap out of this inflate this part back here
and I have dynamic subdivision on so if I turn that off you can see still super low res which is really good um, because I can get in there and really move those polys around exactly how I want um, and I like that All right, so that's that so now, because I inflated it, I can just bring it all the way out to the edge. And when I boolean this crap together, it's going to look pretty, you guys. It's going to look so pretty. You're not going to be able to tell. I didn't make this in Marvelous. The collar, anyway. Um, this part is back too far. No, let's bring it up. Ooh, wee, Rick. He will be holding the collar, by the way. I just knew I had to fix it so I didn't put his arm on it, like his hand on it all the way. And both Rick and MPB will both have squiggly eyes when I'm done. Don't you worry about it, world. Oops. That and that and that. Okay, that looks good. So that's that part. Let's do the same thing for. Um, I want that that inflated. Maybe a little less inflated. There you go. Let's do the same thing for this part down here. What do you think, Rick? Lab coat. All right. There's that. Let's give it some color. This as well. keep forgetting I have very little geometry here look at that that's super low so if I smooth it all goes away if you know what I'm saying all right that's that let's get it feels like super small lapel maybe I'll make it a little larger So the really good thing about having it this low is you see me moving it around and it's not just getting really warped and distorted. That's because I don't have, I mean this is only 104 polygons or 104 points for both of these lapels, right? So it's super low, which is a good thing because had this been any larger, me making these sweeping kind of like movements is going to make it really kind of warbly and ugly. We don't want that. It's not how we get down, you guys.
and just having everything in color makes it a lot easier to read the intersections of these forms. Uh, let's, I just want that tip to come up a little bit. Yeah. Actually, let's just inflate it. Oops. Move. All right. So that is better. And this is all going to print. So, oh, you know what? This got soft up here. We don't want that. Let's turn off dynamic. Um, and let's do this. I just want to grab this point. Pull it out. That. Okay. And same thing on this side. So I get asked sometimes, why do I keep my mesh so low? This is why. It makes things a lot easier when you have to make changes. Oops. So let's turn on dynamic. And in fact, all right, that's two subdivision levels. Let's turn down to one. Um, I think I want to crease that as well. So let's see. Actually, let's turn off dynamic. Yeah, let's turn that off. And what I can do to hold that edge, let's uh, go to my Z modeler. Now, I don't have any any uh, subdivision levels at all, so I can use Z modeler. <coughs> and I can add a few edge loops to hold this edge. So I'm just going to insert here and one here. Oops, and one here like that, and it should look better. Let's do one over here as well. And now hit dynamic, and there you go. There's my edge. And I can even make it smoother, make it a little smoother. It's crispy, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. Turn on the lapel, and the lapel I think is fine. Is it doing the inflate it? Okay. Cool. All right, so now I can make this stuff white again. Uh, color RGB color fill. And this one, color fill. There you go. So that's that. All right, and uh, I want this to feel a little more dynamic, so maybe I'll go in and do a little something like this, and uh, that down with that up, like that. That's cool. All right, so that's that. Let's make his. Uh, let's make.
make his arms look a little better. Oh man, I haven't seen anything in a long time. All right, let's go back, 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 back. Um, what's up, Brian? Damn, Mike, you really like to live in danger of searching for reference on Google live stream. Better watch out, my friend. Yeah, I'm just looking, man. I'm not going to keep any of this stuff. I wish Google would come after me. But not really. All right. Thanks, man. Eskimo girl was clapping that keyboard. Uh, computer right uh, importing images to so. Uh, it's faster. It's faster. Now follow me. Hey, thank you. Looks super great. Thank you. How do you use polygroups? How do you use them? Um, you can just mask and, uh, pardon me, hold on a sec. I wipe my nose. You can just mask and then group, and um, it's very, uh, oops, no, wait for it to do its thing. Whatever you do, don't touch ZBrush when it's saving. Okay. It's the wrong move. Yeah, so if I have just the code here, and let's say on this arm, I want to uh, just have the forearm by masking it and then hitting uh, Command or Control W, you can make a polygroup. And then if I want to, I can mask just that part and I can bend it and you know do whatever I want. So I do what I want. So that's good um, for that. Let's say I want to do it to this one. You can also select and hide only certain parts by clicking on them and holding, uh, so I'm holding Command Shift and you click and now I have everything except for the part I want. Right, so, and then you hold, you can hide things and show things. It just makes modeling a lot easier. So let's say I want this part to be its own group, like that. So now it's cool. If I want to work on just the forearm, I can work on just forearm. I can mask everything else. Um, and that is why, that's why I do that. So let's go to the standard brush. What I want to do now is just make these wrinkles look a little less pillowy. Um, I'm going to get rid of this alpha that was used for skin and use just a round alpha and I want to have my drag dots or my dots rather not drag dots. Okay, and this coat is 648 points, 648,000 points. So still, I mean it's not huge, but it's, you know, it's manageable. So now I can go in and I can just start sculpting. One thing about this, let's see something. Um, all right, so the topology is pretty good on this. I really, hmm, this is what I want to do, all right? Let's see, I'm gonna save this, save, yes. All right, so now I have a version that I, I have here. Sometimes what I'll do, if I'm worried about messing up my topo on something I already like, <clears throat> is I'll just clone it. So if I hit clone, now the code is on its own, it's on its, it's, its own, its own sub, first day with the new mouth. It's its own sub tool, right? So you can see everything else disappeared. This is only the code, right? So if I look at it, I can now go and make a duplicate of this, like that, because what I wanna do is I wanna start using Sculptures Pro. And I can get in there and really finagle all of my wrinkles but I can project that detail onto the good topology. 
you know what I'm saying. Um, and it shouldn't cause too much of a problem. There's a new feature in 2020 that allows you to project across subtools that makes it so that I don't even need to do what I'm doing right now, but it's camera dependent, which means I can project that detail straight on, but if you turn it sideways, it's screwed up. So you have to project it, turn, project, turn, project, turn. So I don't want to do it that way. I'm going to do it the old school way. So I need to delete my lower subdivision levels, which now they're all gone, right? So if I go and turn on polygroup, you see it just looks dense, like so. And maybe what I'll do, uh, maybe what I'll do too is I will uh, group the outside and then I will have the inside, right? So inside, outside, and I can um, I can mask the inside and only work on the outside. I also want to say inside and outside about ten more times. I hope you don't mind. All right, so there's that, and I can see already because it's masked. I can see a part that's poking through. This allows me to go through and just fix parts of the mesh. Where if I printed them, um, if I was printing on a resin printer. Uh, it would probably be more of an issue. It might cause like watertight issues on filament. It's not that big a deal, but it just gets ugly. So I don't want it to be ugly. I want it to be clean. You guys know how I get down. All right, so there's that. Now what I can do, I want to start sculpting wrinkles, but what I have is I have a second, I don't know if you guys can see it, I have a second light like a rim light turned on and it makes it kind of hard to read some of these forms this one over here so I'll just turn it off and now it's easier to see and I can turn on my uh, standard brush and Sculptors Pro and now I can start sculpting and it what it'll do is it'll add geometry where I don't have it and make things like cleaner. I won't have to subdivide everything. That's my cat. I'm busy. I'm doing things. I'm doing things right now. Now, I don't know why I'm being so cheap with my, uh, whoa, with my polygons. Like, let's do this. It's under a million for a lab coat, which, who are we kidding? Can't have a lab coat under a million polys. Let's just divide this again. Um, divide. All right, now we're at 2.6. 2.6 mil so now I should be able to sculpt without having to really worry about having sculptures on really and it should be clean should be that's the that's the idea still being kind of lumpy why are you acting lumpy on me oh you know why because I used the sculptures pro there yeah see what I did all right so let's do this back it up there okay and I am going to now divide there you go now I'm gonna sculpt you guys um, wait did it divide why is it looking like that divide okay that's better cool and I'm going to use the clay buildup because for whatever reason, yeah, it's better. I don't like what the standard brush is doing. Get some of these forms in here. I really like, I really enjoy sculpting wrinkles. I'm just going to, I'm just going to put it out there. 
Some people don't. I do. It's relaxing. And I know there's probably folks in here that are like, oh, you're going to Marvel, this should be done in two seconds. Um, this base mesh started in Marvelous, and it is really good for things, but I'm kind of a control freak when it comes to um, when it comes to things like this, so I like to sculpt it myself. I'm old school. I'm also just old. I'm coming around here without a, all that new technology. What time is it? 3.16. All right, I'm done at 4. I don't know why I forget that every day, but I do, or every time. And I'm definitely going to give a shout to the dude that hooked me up on uh, the mic drops. He just sent me an email, by the way. If you follow me on my uh, website, you can email me. Or you can direct direct message me in any of the stuff that's at the bottom here. And uh, just say, hey, Mike, it would be cool if you did this thing on your next Mic Drops video. Show me how you do this thing. Show me how you Dougie. And I'll be like, I can't do that, but I'll do other stuff. And then I'll do it. Teach me how to Dougie. That's what you do. You guys are all too young to get that. Sorry, you don't even know what I'm talking about. All right, there's that. Now I have some cloth um, wrinkle brushes also that I could use. Why does that look like What's going on with his shoulder? Is that supposed to look like that? Tool. Oh. Okay, his foot is there. Okay, that's fine. I do want to conform. Let's do something real quick. Man, it got hot in here. Let's turn the fan on real quick. Also, maybe unzip the freaking hoodie. How about that? All right, let's grab his. Let's go to him and open up and grab this and copy. And go back over here and paste. Paste. Okay. All right. So, pay no attention to the fact that he doesn't have eyes. You know, let me get his eyes. It's very weird not seeing him. Let's figure out this coat. Delete, freeze, subdivision, sculpture. Oh, I have sculptures on. I don't want sculptures on. Let's turn that off. Come on, dude. Do I have, oh, do I have two things on? I do. Let's turn that one off. Yeah. Did I see something? Uh oh, it's the inside poking through. Let's just hide the inside for now. 
that's much better. All right. Now, one thing I could do is uh, delete that inside altogether if I want to do a retopo on this. Let me just make sure this is my daughter holding inside. second guys sorry done all right cool um, yeah so I might end up just tossing that whole inside of the coat and uh, and then just re then I can work in uh, Sculptress, and then I can just re, um, what do you call it, uh, re-topologize it, and then I can just add thickness to it, which is what I did before. And one thing I, I, I always do is, um, if you're new to sculpting, or digital sculpting, it's the same principle, just or painting or drawing for that matter. Just rotate your canvas often, right? Because something could look good from one angle, like look really good from one angle, and then you turn it and it doesn't look good. In fact, if you um, miss the beginning of this stream, that's the way that it was with Morty. I had uh, I had one angle that that looked pretty pretty good. But if you looked at it from another angle, it was kind of whack. So I had to go in and move his arm just to get a better silhouette. I do that a lot with paintings, like all the time, actually. Somebody I wasn't answering fast enough, he got pissed. All right, let's see. Uh, <laughs> the plumbus. Oh, yeah, note to self make plumbus also. All right, where? Let's see. Love to work on. I would love to work with you on a song or small project with profit shares. Hit me up. Thanks for the follow, Hype Bob. Thank you, Anthony. Make it look easy. Better off just baking. Wait, what? It's better off just baking. Baking what? I'm gonna. This is gonna be an actual uh, statue, so I can't cheat some of the um, the stuff that. Like if I was just gonna take this into um, uh, like uh, what's the name of it, a substance painter or marmoset or whatever, or one of those render engines, like you know, whatever. I can't do that. All right, nice text message ringtone. Yeah, I told you I'm all about Rick and Morty. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Wrinkles, dope, still striving to get better at drawing them. Yeah, just doing a lot. Points, points. What did I say? Polys, points. True school, that's right. Um, like when Kate Upton did the Dougie. Yes, yes. Hello, Mike. What's going on? Awesome scope so far. Thank you. 
would be dope if you could see from multiple angles while sculpting in 3D animation software. Um, that's true. Oh man, I didn't even see. Okay, because the inside is hiding it. Let me see something. Okay, the inside hiding it. You know what I want to do real quick, you guys? I only have half an hour left. I want to do a pencil pencil Vesta real quick. Let's do that. Shall we? Um, I'm going to push in all this GL that's poking out first. I don't like that. It's the best thing about having polygroups is when I first started sculpting, I would, uh, everything was one group and it was infuriating when you get penetration of, uh, you know, the inside sticking out of the outside or whatever. Um, I didn't like that. Oops, that's a little much. Alright, I think a lapel goes over there, does it? Oh, you know what I can do? Let's just pull this out instead of pushing it in. And pull this out. Oh, uh, back face. Let's turn on back face masking. Now let's pull it out. Oh, wait. Turn off back face masking. Let's just inflate it. How about that? There you go. Done. More than one way to do something terrible to a cat, which I would never do because I have a cat. She might hear me say that. I would never say that. <laughs> Love my cat, you guys. All right, cool. That's fine. Okay, so um, let's pretend I did way more on that coat than I did, but I didn't, so it's whatever. Let's copy this. This is what I normally do. So I would take this, I like it. I would go back to my original. Uh, where's Rick? There he is. Scroll up, go to the coat. I wanna just know which one this is. So this is the old one, right? And then I would just paste in a new one. Um, ah, that's funny, I hit Command V. Forgot what application I was in. All right, there's a new one. Let's delete the old one. Delete. There you go. All right, and then I see the shirt sticking out a little bit, so pull that up. Boom, everything is good. Everything is looking pretty good. Like that. You know what, let's do something. Let me boolean these lapels on here. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, but I just wanna show you how I do it. And I wanna cut off. Um, let's cut off Mr. Poopy Butthole, we don't need him. All right, let's turn off everything but the coat, actually. So let's turn off that. There's the coat. Let's turn on the <clears throat> Let's turn on this lapel and the oops, no, it's a start. This goes down. No, this goes this one goes down. Why is this a start? Don't make this a start. I don't want that to be a start. How do you not okay there it is. There's that. Okay, that's all I want on. And I want to cut off everything else. So let's cut off everything else. Alright. Let's turn on this. Not the gun. Let's get the gun out of here. Get out of here with your eye holes. Okay, there's that. Okay. So, we have just the jacket, right? Yeah, just the jacket. I just want to make sure that um, all these parts kind of intersect each other because what's going to happen is I'm going to boolean 
these together. I'm going to do like a unify. And I just want to make sure that when I go and smooth it out, that um, that it's all one it's all one piece. All right, so I'm just going in. Blah, 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 blah. Another good way to do this is turn on your polyframe because then you can see exactly what's what. And you can see where it's kind of intersecting, and you don't want it to. Okay, so that's looking pretty, pretty, pretty good. All right. Okay, I like it. So now what I can do is I can go to <clears throat> turn, so my live boolean is turned on, which is fine. And I have only the things that I want to keep um, uh, visible. And so now, let's save this first, save, save, yes. We gotta get to that pencil vest of goodness. All right, so now if I go down here and I go to Boolean, I wanna make sure that I have uh, dynamic subdivision turned on because remember, I don't have any subdivision levels on the lapel. And if I was to go to these lapels and turn it off, you see it's like mad low. It's like Rob low. All right, so that's good. Turn that on. Go back to here, that's on, everything is on. Now I hit make a mesh. And it's gonna calculate it. And it goes way faster on this new processor. Oh my gosh, done. That's crazy how fast that was. Now I made a union mesh in my coat. All right, so here is just the union mesh. Everything is one, uh, one subtool. If I turn on the frame, you can see that it kept the poly groups. But, let's see, let's see something. Um, I'm not even mad at these. Usually it does some weird triangulation where they join. But I do want to have this be one piece here. So what I'll do, all right, what I'm gonna do is this. I'm going to separate the inside. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Seriously? Oh, you scrub. Oh, you know what? If I take off lasso and go to the select rect, it works. All right, there you go. So there's the inside. Okay, which is kind of hard to look at. Then we flip, and what I can do now is I can make... I can make this yeah I can make this all one group like that right and then I go back here like that okay and I can um, I can do one of two things I can go in because this is 2.5 million points um, which is a lot. So I can go in and do, uh, what's it called? The thing, Z Remesh. Um, and I probably, because there's intersection going on with the inside, uh, I think what I would wanna do, oof, that's ugly. Wait, what's happening? Oh, wait, that's where it folds over. I'm gonna leave this like this actually, all right? Because I can do what I'm explaining to you guys, which is Z remeshing and projecting, but I know it's gonna take cleanup and I don't feel like doing it right now. 
What I can do though is I can go and I can smooth out some of these points to make it feel like this lapel is all one thing. And I'm just going to turn on my um, Sculptors Pro to do that. And that just tessellates that edge so that where it is two items, it becomes one item. All right, it's just going to look at that. It's going to erase away that line. So it can look like I just modeled this entire thing the way that I probably should have in the first place. But I didn't. Okay, so that's that. Let's do it on this side. if I had Sculptors Pro actually turned on. How about that? Forget everything I just said, you guys. It wasn't doing it. So that happened. Now it's doing it. You know it's working when the quads disappear and you see the, uh, the tries there. Tessellation and all up in here. All right. So I'm only doing this right now because you would totally not see this, right? It wouldn't matter. But if I print this coat by itself, I want to make sure that this is all uh, one solid piece. You know, in the event that I printed it as uh, resin instead of filament. Right. Filament doesn't matter. Resin has to be watertight. But the thing about it is, um, maybe for this coat, because it's so flowy, look, there's a hole right there. I don't like that. Let's close holes. It'll do it. Yeah, it closed it. All right, so there's the hole closed. Color, fill, object. Yeah. So maybe because this coat is so flowy and it's off of him, it's just kind of like dangling in the air. Maybe I want it to be, um, and there's a lot of foldovers, right? Like, I don't know if it's going to keep that detail on the um, filament printer. You know, I know it's going to do it with resin. So what I could do is I could print the coat on, you know, like have one of my friends that owns, owns a Form 3 or 2 or whatever print the coat separately. <laughs> And then I add that to my uh, to the everything else which is done in filament, All right? So that's pretty clean. And if that's the case, I'm rambling right now. If that's the case, then um, I want it to be uh, I want it to be closed. I don't want any holes. All right. Sorry, I got the sniffles. All right, cool. So that's done. That code is done. Let's rename it. Uh, union. Coat. Come on, you sucker. Union coat. Copy. And go back to my thing here. I will, um, I'm going to turn off this group and paste. Oh, I keep doing, that's funny. I keep doing Command B. I've been painting. The entire weekend, I had a I had a rough a rush movie poster I had to work on, so I'm used to Photoshop and Corel. All right, so there's my coat. Um, let's turn on Rick now. And uh, boom, 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 boom. All right, there's Rick. Okay, and now the coat is one thing, which is cool. Right, so I can go in and just detail it if I want to. So that's that. Um, let's see, questions, questions, questions. Ba, ba, ba. Hey Mike, awesome sculpt, thank you. Thank you so much. Good tip. Turn the back face masking on so you pump. Yeah, you know what, I had the back face masking on um, and it was, it was doing a weird thing. So I just inflated it and it took care of it too. Uh, can't wait to see it printed out. Me either. What processor you got? I have the um, 
I have the uh, Ryzen 3900X. I just put it in. I used to have a 1700, so this is a hell of a step up. Four and threes are amazing. I know, right? I want one. Did you sculpt the coat, or is it marvelous? All right, so the coat um, was marvelous, and I've been sculpting on top of it. And it's funny. The pants were marvelous, too, right? But look at how plain Jane they are. So... I get a lot more detail. Like if you've seen my Hulk, that was done without Marvelous, and those jeans are way more detailed than this thing. Um, all right, how much time do I have? 341, it's barely any time to do Pencil Vester. Let's see if we can do it real quick. Let's turn on the tentacle and this, then this and this, and Morty, and where's Mr. Booby Butthole? <coughs> what happened to Morty? <coughs> oh, jeez, Rick! Sock shoes. Nah, nah. Okay, alright. Here's everybody. And uh, we'll save this. Let's get Pencil Vester real quick. Where is he? There he is. Him. I think I can do him. I think I can do him super fast. Let's get this over here. And save. Save as. Save. Yes. I didn't check the schedule, but I think Ashley comes on later. If you guys uh, are new to ZBrush Live, do yourself a favor and watch Ashley, because she's a beast. She, uh, She's really fast and really, really good and crazy creative. So, all those things, all the things that I'm not. All right, let's close that, close that. And uh, I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna duplicate this light. Like I made a light to take this into key shot. And I'll show you, oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold up, I can't do pencil vaster. I gotta give a shout out to my man who hooked me up with the, uh, don't look at my emails, you guys. Um, a shout out to my, my friend who hooked me up with the ideas for mic drops. Let's get that real quick. All right, cool. So, uh, Neil. Uh, Neil can't watch live, but he watches After the Fact on YouTube. So giant shout out to Neil, but he sent me an email with a bunch of ideas for uh, mic drops. And uh, he's got stuff on here for like a way to set up ZBrush brushes, um, materials, lighting, uh, just the equipment overview, what I'm using, uh, kind of the in-depth of what I have and I was talking to you guys about. Uh, reference books, I love talking about my books. I just hooked up my library finally, I'm in a new spot. Um, BPR settings, Photoshop, gave me a lot of really, really good ideas for shows. So, and they're, they're very short, right? They're like five minute little slices of tutorials. Um, so if you guys have any ideas, um, definitely uh, hit me up. So like, let's do, let's do real quick, let's see. Um, So like if I come in here, um, where's the one, gradient map. So this is the one, right, it's like, this is uh, this is an example of, of what it is, right? So it's gradient maps, I show how I just take a black and white image and I use the gradient maps to do the outfit and then I can do color swaps for her you know, different color dresses and for the skin and use maps and it's non-destructive, right? So this is one of my illustrations that I went in 
and really quickly I'm able to mask and, and color this thing, do colorization, right? Um, I ended up doing this when I was doing the Civil War piece for, uh, for Marvel. I had to do a black and white uh, team battle thing and I colorized it this way. So this just kind of tells you I did it. And But you see how old this is, right? 2015, um, it's super old and I just didn't do any more because I didn't get any more ideas. But, you know, yeah. So give me ideas. I'll do more of these. I mean, they're free to you. And uh, so why wouldn't you, after all? Uh, let, let's stop that from talking. Stop talking. I don't like the sound of my own voice, too. Just a heads up. I'll figure out a way to do, like, a robot voice. Maybe I'll have Siri do it for me. All right, so there's that. Let's go to the sphere. Okay. Uh, let's use a cylinder. All right, there's a cylinder. What's great is it pops it in the middle of the world for me. And now, watch this, you guys. You're gonna be so impressed with me. All right, boom. It's got the poly groups. Let's stretch it out. Where's my pencil vester? The good thing is I can look at my, look at that. I'm looking at my, um, silhouette there and I can tell um, I, I'm, I'm getting an idea of the scale like I don't even have to really look at anything I don't have to guess what it looks like because I um, I can look at the, uh, the little the little thumbnail right there All right so let's do this I want to I think that's a, that's both caps Right, so I want to turn on double so I can see them both. Auto group. This is me doing my Mike Pavlovich impersonation. Mike, if you're watching this, this is me totally doing a Pavlovich joint where I talk super, super fast and try to give a whole lot of information in no time at all. You're going to have to slow this down, you guys, because I'm going to be killing it. All right. And I just center, grab the center point, drag that out. Um, now, um, what I'm thinking is that's going to look whack when I subdivide it. No, it's not that bad. All right, let's add. Uh, let's insert a loop. Actually, what do we want to do here? Turn on dynamic subdivision. And, um, okay, let's add a loop here. It's going to hold that. Let's add a loop here. It's going to hold that. Turn on dynamic. Okay. So that's not bad. But before I make the tip of that pencil, let's do this part here. Right? And I'm just going to do a poly group by poly loop. And then if I click on it, see how the poly loop just the the group just changed? I oriented I oriented it so it went around and I made that poly loop there so now I can go in because it's its own group I can um, I can grab poly group all and kind of make this part right so that's that now what I can do is I can grab the eraser and I can pull that out and I'm just hitting the uh, alt and that changes my poly group color so I can see what I'm doing a little better all right, so that's that. Now I can insert a loop here, like this. And if I hit dynamic, okay, it kind of gives you that shape that I want. Let's see what happens if I get rid of this loop. Let's delete the loop. That's uh, not bad. So let's put the holding line here. That's just holding that line for me. And I'm going to grab a couple of little loops here to hold that. Okay, that looks better. I'm going to add a loop here that holds that. It's not bad. Okay, it's getting there, it's getting there, it's getting there. <clears throat> we want to do those arms and legs. So what I would do now, ooh, 350, 10 minutes left, you guys. All right, I would duplicate this. Okay, I would make this one another uh, cylinder. I just want to make sure it's oriented the right way. This is fine. Okay, so this is just another cylinder, which I'm going to shrink down. 
I have W selected. I'm using my gizmo, shrinking it down. Let's make it long. These are going to be his arms and his legs. All right, so there's that. Let's move it. Oops. Okay. I only want these two things on. So, okay. There's that. And I'll fix the tip of this pencil in a little while. It'll be fine. Let's grab this over here like this. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Now, obviously, I'm going to pose him a little better than what I'm doing. But let's say I'm just doing a little T-pose right now. Okay, there's one leg. And I should be able to mirror and weld, which I did. Okay. <clears throat> now, if I grab my gizmo and center it, hold down Command, drag up, I can duplicate. Okay, and these arms are not supposed to be as long. So let's do this. I'm going to delete one of them. Oops, I have, uh, oh, you know what? Auto groups. Okay, so I'm going to hide one, delete it, delete hidden. Okay, I'm going to grab this one, right, and mask the others. And then if I click, while I'm holding Alt on the center, it orients and pops my gizmo exactly where I want it so I can make it shorter, like that, right? And now what I can do is I can do mirror and weld again. Oops, wait a minute. Um, why didn't it do it? Mirror, mirror and weld, okay. And then I can auto group. And now they all have their own groups. We'll turn back on Pencil Vester. Um, and I can um, go in. Let's say I want to bend these arms a little bit, right? So let's grab, uh, let's grab this. All right, it's going to pinch right there, but it's okay. It's all right. Maybe what I want to do is I want to just group this, right? And I want to group this, okay? And if I uh, Kind of mask. Oh, let's see something. X. If I mask those two things and then invert the mask. I just turned on symmetry, by the way. That's how I did that. Come over here, center it, which it is, and now I can bend it out and I can bend it forward like this. Okay. And what it's doing there is it is um, it's pinching. Right, which I can fix that later. It's not a big deal. If I had more than six minutes, I would, but I'll fix that. I also, if I wanted to, I mean, if I wanted to be really like fast, I could just grab the uh, the tubes and do one of these numbers, which is probably what I should have done. You know what? There's a whole lot of ways to do things, you guys. But all right, so let's do this. I'm gonna grab this. Okay, now let's say I want to. I want to get that looking a little better. What I can do is I can inflate it. Oops, no, I have Sculptures Pro on. I can inflate it and then I can I can um, turn down my intensity on smooth. Okay, and you see, look, look at that. Boom, that's better. Okay, so then I can just grab, grab it and move it and rotate it you know, whatever I want to do. Boom, 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 like that. Okay. Um, making eyes is as easy as making a new subtool, which I would do duplicate, like I always do, and do a sphere, which I did. Where's my sphere? Where's that sphere, y'all? Let's center it up and enlarge. Okay, so there's a sphere. Let's just get it out where I can see it. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Oh, I have, uh, I had symmetry turned on. All right, so I just put that there. Move it over a little bit. Turn on dynamic so it's round. Let's, uh, let's 
bring it forward a little bit. Q. And then we can mirror and weld. And I got two. All right, so you get the idea. This is what I would kind of do to get this thing together. And then get the fingers and the feet and all that. Let's make the pencil look a little more like a pencil. So I like the subdivision, right? So if I hit apply, then it's done. Now I can mask just the tip and center it. And I can just kind of make it a little more pencil-y. Uh, why is it doing? Oh, I know what it's doing. OK, let's do this. I just want this part. W, now I can drag it out and smooth. something like that so or like I mean I can do it this way or I could just make a cone and use the cone you know just add the cone down here either way it's all good oops I moved it off center Then this would be after I get him all straightened out. His arms are up too high. W center, bum bum bum. I would bring his arms down. After I get his arms where I want them, I would obviously bend his legs and then I would pose him. 357. How am I doing? How am I doing? Let's turn that on. Um, let's turn off the light. These are all things I was using in Keyshot to get a good uh, thing. He's huge, by the way. All right, so where's Rick? I have multiple pants on. Why do I have multiple pants? Where's the other? Let's turn off. Why do I have two sets of pants on Rick? Okay, I don't know where that is. Oh, that's that. Turn that off and come back to here. All right. So, anyway, then I would scale down Pencil Vester, obviously, and make him the right size because right now he's, he's too freaking big. So, let's do this. Um, hide this, 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 and this. Let's hide the shirt. Come down here. Now, if I go to my uh, gizmo and I turn on all the layers, I can just easily, oops, I have the legs masked. That's why I did that. <coughs> I can easily, so easily, you guys, I can easily scale this thing down and then move it up and then move it where I wanted to have them. Right, I'll keep him in the center for now, but let's turn Rick back on. Just so I can get an idea of the scale. All right, turn Rick off for a second, bring him up. All right, so if I turn on everybody else, I don't know if you guys use this, but if I turn on everybody else and I have multiple subtools selected like this, if I hold down Command and Shift, and then Alt. Everything is all, see how it's kind of grayed out? Now what's happening is I'm only, I'm only affecting Pencil Vester. So if I want to have him, <coughs> say I want to have him over near Morty's hand, right? Like he's, maybe he's dropping him. Right, something like that, and then shrink him down. Obviously, he can't be too small because I mean it's a print for crying out loud. So, but yeah, so I would pose him, and then I would put him there like that. Let's say that's where I want him. It's not. Well, let's say it was like that. Then I could just uh, have it, you know, kind of like that. 
that's the way that's the way I do it. Right. Um, I think that's it. All right, so that's it for the day, you guys. Let's see. Let's answer these questions real quick. Just missed that thing you did. Was that remesh by union? Yes, that exactly what it was. It was a, it was a boolean remesh union. Yes. Mike drops playlist is on point. Thank you very much. Not Siri let out. <laughs> yeah, right, Sam Jackson. I said do this thing. Uh, don't loops because it issue. It issues when you step up the subdivision instead of using crease. Yeah, you know what? I go back and forth. For creasing, I don't like messing with the crease level. I mean, it's half on one, six on the other. You know that old saying from the sea? <laughs> six on one hand, half a dozen on the other. Um, stopping by to say hi. Hey, what's up, Anna Carolina? All right, you could have also used these spheres to make the arms like, yeah, exactly. No, I'm telling you, there's so many ways to do things. I do it this way because it's fast for me, but you know what? Everybody has their thing. That's what people tell me. So um, that is, uh, as they say that, all right. 402, I went over. All right, guys, thank you for stopping by. Give me a follow on any of the stuff. Definitely follow me on Instagram if you're not. I'm trying to get my Instagram numbers up. And um, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Have a Merry Christmas uh, because or Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate. Um, and, uh, and I'll check you guys, I guess, next year. All right. Peace, everyone. Stop recording. All right. Bye, guys. Thank you.